Hello, it's Behaving Beardly. We're back with another uh, streamer's DIY video. Sorry, I completely forgot what I was saying there. Um, today we're going to be looking at the awesome shout-out widget created by Rene Chiquette. So basically what this is, is a it's, it's a fluffed-up shout-out system. It's pretty cool. Um, I'll quickly show you. So I've got my Twitch chat open here, and if I am to... Uh, shout out Rene Chiquette by using the typical command. By the way, you can create your own command for this. So exclamation mark SO Rene Chiquette, hit enter. And there we go. So what that's done is it has pulled his image, his logo from his Twitch channel, the text around it, um, I've customized. And what you can do as well is add your own custom video or GIF or JPEG, whatever, for specific streamers. So if I was to shout out our good friend Teasra, SO Teasra, this is what you'd get. Teasra here, variety streamer and noob gamer from Australia. Welcome. If you're looking for a skilled gamer, look somewhere else, because you'll only find laughter, hilarious, Forgot how long this is. and constant friendly fire. You should totally check us out. Well, there we go. Um, so, this is a Stream Elements widget. Now, don't worry if you don't use Stream Elements. It's okay. You can use Stream Elements just for this. It uses a browser source within your OBS. Um, what I'm going to do now, just so I can show you this properly, I'm going to hide my current shout-out source um, so I can show you how to set this up from scratch. First thing you're going to need is the link, which is here. Oops, no, it's not. There it is. No, it's not. God damn snapping window setting. There we go. <laughs> anyway, right. Um, so I'll copy and paste this into my browser. Obviously, you can just click the link in the description. Right, let me just bring up a new window in my browser. There we go. I will paste the link in. And what that will do, there we go. If you're already logged into Stream Elements, it will bring up your overlays page. If you're not already registered to Stream Elements, it will ask you to connect to your Twitch. Um, but basically, yeah, this is your overlays page. Uh, and, well, it'll make sense as we go. So here we go. It has just added this scene to your, or your this, sorry, this, um, yeah, this scene to your overlays. Oh, it's added this overlay to your overlays. I don't know, whatever. I'm a potato. This is a guide for potatoes. Uh, <laughs> a guide by a potato for potatoes. So basically, click on the pencil widget here. There we go. And as you can see, he's already got a source here. Now, it's important to kind of realize it does constantly update this. It's always adding new features. So do always read the little comment box he's got here. Um, it's got his Discord on there if you want to ask him any questions. So, so that's, that's pretty handy, actually. Um, and as you can see here, you've got the overlay URL. So that's the, um, the URL you're going to add as a browser source. So we'll do that first. So click to copy. That's now copied to clipboard. Go back into your OBS, whichever one it is. Add a new browser, uh, a browser source. So you're adding a new source. Um, where is browser source? There it is. Add source. We're going to add a new source. We will call this ASO for awesome shout out. Add source. Add it in there. Just paste it in. Now, one thing to bear in mind as well is to make sure that you set your correct um, resolution or whatever it is here. So my canvas or base canvas revolution, revolution, resolution is obviously, well, not obviously, it's 1920 by 1080, it's 1080p. There we go, frames per second. I don't think that really matters. Just press done. That's now full screen. Obviously, you can, you can make it whatever size you want. You probably don't want it over your full screen. You can, you can center it. Do whatever you want, but do set it to, to 1920 by 1080, and um, you want to make sure, uh, I don't know if you can change that in here, actually. I'm sure there must be a setting in here somewhere. Anyway, just make sure it's the same to your base canvas, and what we're going to do is click on this source here. Whoops, there we go. So this basically is your screen, this green area. This is where the awesome shout out is going to appear. So when you click on that, down the left-hand side here, you get various different options. So we've got the shout-out command. You can make that whatever you want. At the moment, it's exclamation mark SO. 
um, you can show the channel logo. So what to do when there's no file found. So you can either not show a logo or show the channel logo. Obviously, if you don't show, we're going, we're going to talk about how to add custom videos like I did with the teaser one. Um, so you, you're basically setting it here that if you don't have a pre-set up video, whether it shows their channel logo or not, um, you can upload a sound um, for or a sound effect to play for when the it comes up. You've got your font color, uh, your main text. Uh, obviously, you can call that whatever you want. It's a shout out. Choose your text, font size, same again, and then your um, your second line, um, whatever you want. Still a shout out. <laughs> And there we go. And what should happen now, if I bring up my text chat again, so SO Rene Renen Rene Chiquette. And there we go. There's his logo. It's a shout out. Still a shout out. And then it puts their name afterwards. So what you could do for the bottom line is Twitch dot tv forward slash and it'll put his name after that sorry i should have mentioned that first but it's okay like i say i am a potato so let me copy and paste that there we go stop that in or drop that in even there we go there he is at the top twitch.tv forward slash rene chiquette so what you will need to do that will not show up on my obs as you notice what you need to do is make sure you click save first. So there we go. Once you click save at the bottom, I hope you can see this, at the bottom there, that will then save it, and then it will show up on your OBS. So let me just show you that. Again, Rene Chiquette. There we go. Now, as you can see, actually, that's a good point. So we'll make this full screen, this box here. There we go. So that will basically represent what you see on here. So what you can do on here is manipulate the size of the um, widget box as well. I believe. I believe. How do you do that again? I am a tato. Oh, there it is. So we can manipulate the size of this box. We can make it full screen on here as well. So there we go. Move that up there. There's probably easier ways to do this, but there we go. Make sure I click save again. Go back to, oh, yeah, I did click save. That's fine. Go back here, Rene Chiquette. And as you can see now, that's actually full size. Um, so you could manipulate it on here. Just play with it. Play with it and do what you want. <laughs> play with it and do what you want. There we go. Let me move that back up there. Anyway, there we go. And as I say, you can upload your sound here. So I will use my flame sound effect, submit, save. Now you're going to hear this twice because the browser's open as well. Um, so let me just quickly type that in again. And you should hear the sound effect again. You'll hear this twice because I've got OBS and the browser open. There we go. It's a shout out. Twitch.tv, Rene Chiquette. So there you go. Um, now the complicated part. Um, is to add a custom video and this this is a bit complicated i'm going to be honest so the first thing you can do you need to upload your video your jpeg um whatever it is to a um a, it needs to be on a url source but you can do that on here all you need to do is click on library at the top there we go um and you can upload by clicking the little upload icon here and upload any video you want as you can see we've got the um the teaser one there. Let's do one you haven't seen yet. Um, let's do jams. Okay. So I'll I imagine I've just uploaded this file, and then you will um, right click on that file once it's uploaded, and click on inspect at the bottom. There we go. And then you've got a URL source right here. It's highlighted in blue for you already. You just want to copy and paste that. I think, you can, yeah, you can double click on it. Whoops. There you go. Double click on it. Right click. No. Okay. Double click control C. <laughs> Basically, you want that link there. HTTPS up till MP4 within the um, 
speech marks. So we'll copy that. And then what we need to do, close this. Click on your widget again. Uh, so within this box. And we're going to click on Open Editor. I think he's figuring out a, an easier way to do this. Um, but then you need to go to JS. Scroll down. And we are looking for this section here. So you can see it says Streamer 1. Um, video link, main text, subtext. So what we are doing is obviously entering the MP4 URL in there. There we go. Control and V. Main text. Uh, so this is jams. So we'll put, I don't know. Oh my God, it's jams. Subtext is he rocks. <laughs> Obviously, get a bit more creative than this. And then the name has to match their actual name. So what we'll do, the actual Twitch name. So Jams Hams. There we go. Much love and respect to Jams Hams, by the way. Um, yeah. And then, it, obviously, you've got, you've got two here. So the space here to fill two out. Once you've filled those two spaces, what you need to do to add more is select from just before this comma here. So in between that weird bracket thing and a comma, I'm using all the technical language here. Um, so before the comma, select down here up until the bracket thing. <laughs> Control and C. Click after the bracket thing. Control and V. Do it exactly that way. Because basically, if you mess up one thing, I have had many a minute many a, a long time basically um trying to figure out where i've gone wrong and i've just restarted this widget over and over every little thing needs to be typed in exactly right again i know Rene's is trying to find a much more user-friendly way of doing this so there will be updates coming out but basically yeah you can keep doing that add as many as you want keep adding the custom urls for videos your main text subtext make sure you get their name completely correct click done um, make sure to click save. Always click save um, to make sure that you're saving it correctly. And then do a test. So let's have a quick look. Uh, exclamation mark SO jams hams. I've spelt that wrong. Uh, jams hams. Come on, Beardlet. There we go. A beard is A beard is not unique ever. <laughs> I mean, uh, hang on, hang on. Let me just... There we go. There we go. There we go. Where where are my followers? <laughs> where, where are my followers? Uh, and it's there we go. And one other thing to note as well, you can change the volume um, of the the files as well. Um, because that is very quiet, uh, and I noticed that before. So I, I reached out to Rene, um, and he told me how to change the volume. You can see here when you go to the editor. Just find VAR sound volume equals. It'll be currently set to 20. Just type a higher amount in there. I'll show you that in the widget as well. Um, let me go back to my pages. Uh, here we go. So click on the pencil. Click on the widget itself. Open editor. Click on JS. And scroll down until we find that section, which took me a while to spot last time. Let's see how quickly. I can find it this time uh, while I'm... Oh, there it is. Um, so VAR sound volume. I'm just going to turn that straight up to 80 to show you the difference. Click done. Make sure we click save. Um, down... Oops. Down at the bottom here. Click save. Let me close this out again so it's not doubled up in audio. There it is. Go back into OBS, and again, we will do a shout out for Jams Hams. A beard is a few much so louder. Much a beard is not unique ever. <laughs> I mean, uh, hang on, hang on, let me just. There we go. There we go. Brilliant. Where, where are my followers? Much love to Jams Hams, by the way. <laughs> where are my followers? <laughs> so there we go. Um, guys, as per usual, as I always mention in these videos, uh, I am a Twitch streamer. I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. The link will be in the description. Also, if you do find these videos helpful, please do let me know. 
So basically, the, the videos that get the most engagement, likes, subscribes, etc., are the videos that I focus on moving forwards. If the stream DIY videos get the most attention, I'll create most of those. Again, if you have any questions on this, when you open the overlay or the widget, there is a link to Rene Chiquette's Discord and his YouTube, but um, he's always happy to take questions. He's always happy to take suggestions on what to add in future releases as well, so do check that out. But in the meantime, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. If you haven't, well, then stick with it. It'll grow on you. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye.